Hello and welcome to Full Bootcamp. And on this video, we're gonna show you how to install a hard drive to your router. Stay tuned. If you're thinking about installing an external hard drive to your router so you can have it available on all your devices at home, this is the way to do it. Let's get right into it. So head into your computer, the first thing you need to find out is what's your router IP address. If you know that, go ahead and open a browser and connect through the browser. If you don't know, so let's show you how to do this. First of all, on your keyboard, press the Windows key. It's the little key on your keyboard that has like a flag. It's right next to the Alt or Alternate. Keep your finger on that Windows key and then press R. And this is what's going to happen. You're going to have access here to the run. Now you're going to type in CMD. C like Charlie, M like mother, D like Delta. And then you press OK. That's going to open your command prompt. At this point, you're going to type in IP config. Press enter. Now let me zoom it a little bit. You should see over here, this is my default gateway. So this is what you're looking for. You're looking for the IP address of your router. Once you locate this, you can copy this and then paste it over here on your browser. What's going to happen, you're going to be connecting to your router. ISP, your internet service provider, or it should give you access to the, your router. So try to look into either the advanced settings devices or anywhere in your computer in your uh, router dashboard try to find out where you can enable or disable something about the uh, usb in my case i go over here I'm gonna ask you for password i'm gonna log in and over here you're gonna be able to see usb as you can see i have one device that is connected i'm gonna go into the settings and now that i should have this i'm gonna put here a name use uh, usb external hard drive and then i'm gonna look for a little logo i'm gonna take this click on save so i know i have this device connected over here and uh, i already looked through the advanced settings and everything I don't see anything that I need to enable so I guess we're good to go so once you once you check that everything is good to go then we can move on to the next step so step two we're gonna open file explorer over here and at the top to put backslash like that and put so next step what you're gonna do is you're gonna come and open over here a new file explorer you're gonna come into the network and as as you can see network discovery is off you might have it off but you have you might have it on in my case it's off so i need to turn it on so click here to change it turn on Do you want to turn on network discovery and file sharing for all public? We're going to say yes. Okay, so now we are sharing information with my printer. I believe that's a phone. And then you have my router. And this is for the TV router. This is the internet. So open File Explorer and check over here on the top gonna do backslash backslash my network in my case I cannot access Windows cannot access to so check if you are able to access in your network what I have to do is I have to go to control panel network and sharing I'm gonna go in advanced sharing I'm gonna make sure that this is turn on network discovery turn on file printer sharing 
it's turned on let me see if there's anything else here that I need to check over here public sharing file sharing turn on sharing so anyone with the network access can read and write that's what I want over here okay what else Smitty streaming use encrypted protect on password turn on protect password sharing when protected sharing is on okay so let's go and save chances and let's try again still doesn't work so second thing we're gonna do is windows features we're gonna turn on some features here and let's look for this one over here SMB file sharing support so we're gonna press these three little things and press OK and now it's gonna be applying the new features we want to be able to share the USB hard drive from the router so everybody can access now apply changes we might need to restart a computer let's give it a try and see if we need to um, restart completed reboot don't restart for now just want to see if this work or not my network yeah it still doesn't work so I'm gonna restart the computer and come back so my computer has restarted now let's go and check open file exploder at the top backslash backslash my network enter and there you have it as you can see i have the hard drive let me see i think it's this one here esp no this is the name remember on the router but it's this one here dell one terabyte as you can see i have here all my files so this is how you have access to your hard drive over the network now you can also do another last thing uh, right click over here and you can say map network drive what's gonna do this is gonna create a letter over here into your hard drives and then you'll be able to instead of going by the backslash backslash my network you're gonna be able to see it just like a regular like a, a regular drive we can put here drive is z uh reconnect at sign in yeah we can say here reconnect at sign in click finish and now what's gonna happen is if I go here this PC as you can see you you are you are able to see the um, hard drive directly over here you don't need to go into the network and my networks or backlight my network you have here you map it on the network click on it you have access to all your folders and files all right so I hope you enjoyed this content if you like this content don't forget to subscribe like share comment i'm out